Welcome to the fourth tutorial on TiboCam. In the third and previous tutorial we looked at how to set up email, FTP and alerts. In this tutorial we're going to look at admin functions. So let's click on the admin tab. First let's start with profiles. Now if I click on the drop down box you can see I have two profiles on this computer. One is called main and one is called demo. The main profile contains all my usual email information and FTP information but for the purpose of this tutorial I use the demo. In the demo I have email addresses that don't exist as you can see here anon at googlemail.com is just a dummy email address. Now you can create new profiles, you can copy new proof profiles and rename profiles. Why would, why would you want different profiles? Well you may want a profile say for the morning, uh, you may want a profile for the evening, um, you may want a profile which is very sensitive to movement detection, you want a, might want a profile which is not so sensitive to movement detection. In another tutorial I'm going to show you how when it comes to movement detection we can block out areas or we can only include certain areas. So you may want a profile say to block out three feet above the ground so that your cat when it comes into the room doesn't trigger your movement detection. So I'm going to make sure I have the main profile selected for this tutorial. Up to the left we have clear images options. Now this, is to, this area here is to do with images saved on the web and on your computer. If we click the update information button we'll get some updated information on how many files there are on the computer and how many image files on the website. So we can clear these images. To clear the images all we need to do is tick the boxes of what we want to clear. I'm going to start by clearing the files on the computer. So I'm going to click on clear images on computer and then press the button. I'm asked for a confirmation. I'm going to say yes and very quickly I'm told that the images have been cleared just to check what I can do is I can click update information again and you can see all the files on the computer have been so I've just gone and loaded some more images onto the website you can see this it says 13 now I'm going to clear those images so I click on clear images on website click on the clear images button confirm the uh, question and then let's go and look at the webcam tab as you can see it's showing us having the images deleted at the moment and we're told that all the files on the website have now been deleted. If we return to the admin tab and click on update information you'll see they're still reporting some files there. The reason being this reports all the files on the website not just your image files. Now the only files it will delete are files which have the prefix you have set in your alerts tab. So in this case it will only delete images prefixed with the name webcam. OK let's look at the generate web page button. If you're loading images up onto a website you may want to create a website with lots of images let's say a hundred images that you can upload. Now the generate the web page will, will generate HTML for you with images with sequent numbers with a from and a to that you set in these two boxes here. The sequence number applies as it does in your alerts where you set a from and a to. So the two work in conjunction. Finally the updates section. If there's an update available for your version of TiboCam on the main web page a large button will be displayed. Also on the admin page you'll see a download and install updates button. Now these two buttons do exactly the same. So when you click on download and, up, download and install update what will happen is TiboCam will close itself, it will download the update, auto install and restart with a new update with your previous settings. I suggest if you do decide to download the update via this method or this method here which is exactly the same you always first go towards the main web page and set 
motion detection as inactive. So thank you for watching this fourth tutorial on TiboCam in which we've looked at the admin tab. In the next tutorial we're going to be looking at the publish settings. We're going to be looking at how to publish images on a website via the publish settings tab.